them all. of the dead? They're gathering here because of Vanille. One sing and gather about her in their millions, for they seek eternal rest and repose. The light of God shall rain down upon them. The light shall be his voice. His words become redemption. The dead shall be released from their pain. The souls have been trapped in the chaos. They've been suffering without any hope of being reborn. I have to do something. I can't leave them like this. That's right. You can't forsake them. Which is why you have to stop this. Vanille, this ritual is going to destroy every one of these souls. They'll be forgotten, as if they never existed. She's telling the truth. No one will know they ever lived. The Order has been lying to you from the beginning. <sighs> but the Soul Song is supposed to help them. If they end up being forgotten, they won't be saved. Sacred One. God has spoken to us and told us his wishes. He demands pure souls with hearts of light. Those who could not survive the long centuries are not part of God's great plan. Our minds must be unclouded, our hearts free of regret. God is wise and mighty. We shall be born in the new world, our shackles cast off, blessed in the purity of his light. Do you hear that, Vanille? That's what they really want. Salvation for themselves. Oblivion for the rest! Vanille, if you go through with this, your sacrifice won't mean a thing. I don't care what happens to me. It doesn't matter. I just want a chance to make up for what I did. So many people died because of me. I can hear them, even now. They're crying out all the time. Their grief and sorrow. I feel it all. Damn it, Vanille. You weren't responsible. I was! Vanille, I get it. You want to atone for something. You think this soul song is your chance. And if you purify the dead and die with them, you'll have made everything right again. But listen, not to me. Listen to the dead. Yes, their pain is real. But do they really want your sacrifice? <laughs> and free them from their torment! You're the one who's conjuring lies! The dead have spoken! You're going to destroy them for a convenience, and they want justice! Ah! Protect the Sacred One! So, did you listen to the dead? Yes. They spoke of sadness and regret. But also... hope. 
They're begging for their suffering to end. But... No matter how much pain they feel, none of them asked to be destroyed. Not a single one. Being amongst them is like drowning in tears. But there's hope there too. They want a new future. They want to live again. The sound of true despair is silence. When all hope is gone, that's when people stop raging against their fate. But the dead, they're still crying out against it. It's because they haven't given in. They still have hope. And I didn't listen. Instead, I was gonna perform the soul song and destroy them forever. <sighs> it would have been a hell of a mistake. But there's still time to make it up to them. There is a better way, Vanille. You can lead them to safety. Show them the way up into the Ark. Once they're there, they will be reborn into the new world. You think I can do that? Someone told me you can, but it'll be dangerous. She means you've got to risk your life. You and me both, we'll do it together. Yeah. I won't do the soul song. I'll try to guide them instead. All the souls will be reborn in the new world. You cannot! The soul song is the will of God. Who are you to defy him? He commands you to finish it! Nice entrance, hero. Yeah, only took five centuries. <laughs> Look at the souls! <sighs> it's beginning. I've made my peace. <laughs> we'll still be together. Death won't keep us apart. Souls of the Chaos, listen to me. It's happening now. The world is about to disappear forever. When you hear the bell toll, you have to fly up, into the sky, find the Ark. You can be born, every last one of you. My soul will burn. Let, Let the flames of my atonement be your guide. The light will answer your prayers. Living and dead, all of humanity, come together now. Look up to the sky. And, and discover, discover the new world. world. souls of the dead are saved. And yours too. Thank you, Lightning.
curtain. And the bell stops. <gasps> Time will cease, and what was will be no more. I think it's time. You should have her back. She's always been here, right inside me. You made Lumina. Do you remember? You made a tomb to keep someone's memory safe. You mean Sarah? When you awoke as the savior from your long sleep, she wasn't there anymore. She survived with you. All the time you were in the crystal. But then Benevelza cut her out. She was adrift and hopeless. Without you, her soul was going to melt into the chaos. So... you looked after her for me. You kept her safe. Mm -hmm. We're just particles of dust, brushed from the palm of a god. He didn't care what happened to her. But I did. I had to keep her safe and sound. But who are you? Really? Someone who never should have existed. I was nothing more than a vessel. And now, I've done my part. My time is over. Lightning! Sarah! to keep me in line. I don't care if you're God himself. I'm taking them back. I swear to you. to go to the place where God is waiting, Koopa. Bonavelsa is beyond those doors? He sure is, Koopa. He's working to create his very own new universe, Koopa. Once inside, I'll no longer be in the human world. I'll be in a realm known only to the gods, and I may not return. <sighs> it's the final battle. You need to be prepared, Koopa! <laughs> Aren't I always? Thanks for being here, Mog. It is my pleasure, Koopa! <laughs> 